Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In today's video we will be going over who the dead Jedi were in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series part 4. The fourth episode of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series unveils a very dark scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi discovers a tomb of dead Jedi in Fortress Inquisitorius. This place isn't a fortress. It's a tomb. <laughs> The scene focuses on a number of Jedi who have, presumably, been slain by Inquisitors. The tomb could act as a sort of trophy cabinet, but it could also potentially serve more of a purpose. It could be that the dead Jedi are preserved to be cloned, harvesting their Force-sensitive blood for experiments, and used to help create strand casts like we see in The Mandalorian Season 2. This isn't a military operation. This is a lab. They could also be used in other ways. For instance, in Star Wars Rebels Season 1, the Grand Inquisitor actually uses the corpse of Luminara unduly to lure Jedi into a trap. What happened to her? I don't understand. Yes, I'm afraid Master Luminara died with the Republic. So exactly which Jedi were in the tomb? The first of the dead Jedi we see is that of Terra Sinube. Terra Sinube was an elderly Kazian Jedi Master known for using a cane lightsaber who was featured in the Clone Wars series as a friend and mentor to Ahsoka Tano. For a guy that moves slow, you always seem to get ahead of me. The value of moving slowly is that one can always clearly see the way ahead. This is the first time we are getting confirmation that Terra Sinube was killed at some point between Order 66 and this episode which takes place 10 years after that. I was just resting my eyes. The scene is pretty grim, as noted by the emotion going through Obi-Wan who probably knew most of these Jedi at one point or another. We see a Jedi youngling who resembles one of the younglings we see in the Order 66 scene at the beginning of the series. We run. They could also be a youngling that was slain by Anakin Skywalker during his attack on the Jedi Temple in Revenge of the Sith. There are a few Jedi we see from afar that have potential to be certain characters. For instance, there is one Jedi who looks like Mace Windu, however it would be highly unlikely that they would have Mace Windu's corpse there and not have Obi-Wan focus on it. This party's over. There are theories that Mace Windu had survived his battle with Darth Sidious in Revenge of the Sith since his death was not shown on camera per se. We have also seen other characters who are presumably dead, such as Darth Maul, who have survived and returned to Star Wars. Jedi, I have been waiting for you. We also see an Angry Jedi corpse, which could be Jedi Master Coleman Kaj, who was a member of the Jedi High Council in Revenge of the Sith. It could also belong to Jedi Knight Pablo Jill, who was part of the Jedi Assault Team on Geonosis in Attack of the Clones. Other than that, we do not yet have confirmation on who most of the Jedi were in the tomb other than Jedi Master Terra Sinube. However, it will be interesting to see if these characters will be revealed in some other way, even in another series such as The Bad Batch. But only time will tell at this point. The time of the Jedi is over. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think of the Jedi tomb? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet.